On Thursday, May, fire guarded a two-story girls' dormitory at the Tolong Senior High School. The fire forced authorities to close down the school for a week to enable them to find alternative accommodation. A compound house in the town and some classrooms have been converted into temporary dormitories for the school. The district chief executive, Fusheni Salifu Isifu, in an interview with City News, disclosed that the school was ready to reopen tomorrow. So her plans are far ahead and uh, we are ready to accept them tomorrow. We are also uh, thinking in deliberation after uh, the committee uh, uh, submitted their report. We also discussed intensively and we uh, are considering uh, 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 maybe if they even come and the areas that we identify are not enough for them, then we can, uh, for the 30 years who are about to write, we must get a place for them and then also see if we can uh, allow the, those who still have more time to uh, go for another week for, for us to prepare well for them. So eventually these are the plans uh, that we've put in place, waiting for the arrival tomorrow. The school is also challenged in the area of infrastructure and the DC also noted that the assembly was working on improving the situation. Even before this uh, 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 unfortunate incident, already uh, our MP was uh, uh, in consultation with stakeholder, other stakeholders to see how we can improve upon the, the infrastructure there. Lo and behold, this, uh, 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 this thing happened and we quickly put a committee. It, it happened on, on, on the 19th. And then uh, well, we asked them to go that same day, 19th. And then uh, on Friday 20th, the DCS committee was put in place to uh, find alternative ways and also f uh, uh, come out with uh, other ways of improving uh, on the situation in future. Four classroom blocks have been converted into temporary dormitories for the students and that has raised concerns over accommodation for teaching and learning ahead of the reopening. The school's management, however, says there's no cause for alarm because the school is not using those classrooms for academic work due to the double-track system it is currently operating. Some of the girls are said to be traumatized following the fire incident at the dormitory. To attend to them, a committee has been set up to provide counseling services as they return tomorrow. From the Tolong Senior High School, I am Dinah Ungwan for City News.